not aware, Dale Earnhardt Jr., a big-time Redskins fan, this week he had some fun because the Skins tight end Chris Cooley came to the track to hang out. Turns out Cooley's a big racing fan. Not only that, he actually named his dog, you guessed it, Dale Earnhardt Jr. Our Lindsay Zarniak mediated this meeting of the Mutual Admiration Society. Tell me about how this happened. How did the two of you come to know each other, and how do you describe your relationship? It kind of happened last year is I, I went down to a race in Charlotte um, with with uh, Coach Gibbs and just kind of kind of hang out and, and experience the whole thing. And uh, we got to meet everybody and, and see the cars. And, and it was amazing. I mean, I had such a good time. Um, like I said, he introduced me to Dell and kind of hung out. But it was, I mean, the first thing I, I noticed that I loved about NASCAR is you guys fly home in a helicopter. <laughs> uh, so I was a big fan of the Redskins and his before we met. And I've never had a friendship with a, with a player where I could pick his brain about what it's like to be in the NFL. Because when I was a kid, that was my dream. If you were going to put him on your pit crew, what do you think Cooley would be? He would be a real good jack man or gas man. He got carry, probably carry a lot of weight around. Real athletic. I want to ask you about your the Western town. Can you tell me how did that idea come up? What What exactly is it that sparked that? You know, I, I get got to the age where I was tired of tearing my house up and having to clean up the basement all the time. Willie Nelson did a 60 Minutes back in the 90s, and he had this piece of property where it had an old uh, movie western set on it. And he fixed it up, finished it, and then he hung out in his saloon and said it was fun. So <laughs> I was like, man, that ought to be pretty easy to build. thought it was unbelievable. I mean, it could be a movie set. Yeah. It's real life. It's got a blacksmith and a church. The church is really, really cool. Um, Sheriff's office really, really cool. I had my uncles, Robert and Jimmy Jun uh, G, uh, build me a couple jail cells. It looked real good. I really wanted to stay in the jail cell. Uh, <laughs> I feel like that would have been appropriate. I don't know, man. I mean, it's just, it's really a bit over the top for, for no more than I use it. But, you know, when I'm gone and 40 years from now, somebody stumbles on that thing, they're going to freak out. So <laughs> that'd be kind of cool. I want to ask you guys both a little bit about pressure. And, Chris, you obviously playing for a franchise that has such a winning tradition. How much pressure do you feel to keep that up? I think there is a lot of pressure um, for the Redskins, and, and also because we're playing in the NFC East, which whatever anyone wants to say, I, I think is the toughest division in football. You have four teams every year that are extremely tough. Well, when I went to drive for Rick, uh, I was going to a program and uh, that had won championships and had championship drivers that were going to run good. And to be able to keep my job, I had to um, consistently measure up to what they were able to do on the racetrack, and I've been able to do that so far, but that, that's a lot of pressure. So I know every week when I show up, there's no excuse. I won't be able to fall back on any excuse for not being able to do what, I, what I'm supposed to do. On the other side of it, there's a whole lot less stress involved because I know more clearly what my job is and what I'm expected to do. So I'm, I'm having an easier time of it because of that. But uh, it's really put up or shut up so much more now than it ever was. Last question for both of you guys. What is more difficult, going out there on the field, running up against three linebackers, or trying to go three wide on a track like here last lap of the year? I was, they said we were going to race go-karts, and I was really nervous. I didn't want to race you in the go-karts. Yeah. <laughs> I, I thought know, it would be I fun. Kidding, but you would lie at me over yeah. and over. I'd be embarrassed. I'd give up everything I got to be Chris Cooley for a season. Are you serious? Hell yeah. Play for a whole season? Hell yes.